Well, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... He's a mighty Drakir at your service. Now where are the campers? And welcome back to the Dark Side Detective, our fifth stream of this, I believe, because yesterday was number four. And yeah, last time we quote unquote finished the game, but we also got access to three bonus levels. So yeah, we're going through those. And I am curious about these last two. Uh, by heart so far, like I know most games and series do Christmas stuff at least once, but I must say I'm finding this one a bit less interesting than others. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit more unique than our scene. So yeah, what happened last time was... <clears throat> pardon? Was that Krampus basically kicked Santa so hard out of his seat he stopped existing, and he turned a bunch of kids into gnomes. And... <laughs> Which are supposed to be badness incarnate, uh, yet Emily, either she was too far away to be converted, or, well, it's Emily. She's already <laughs> badness incarnate. <laughs> Speaking of... Okay, guys, I'm here. Now what? Now you go poison Krampus. Okay, take these to Santa. Sure, I'm loyal to my words while this tub still holds candy. <laughs> I got you some treats. Yes. Come to me, my little small. Come and join my festival hall. Whatever, weirdo. Just eat the treats. Um, okay. <laughs> um, nom nom. Wait. Something was up with that food, because I don't feel so good. My means, I've made a great mishap. I've fallen into their tasty trap. Go nose, big man, go floaty way. Da, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was more expecting like him to just convert into a ghost, not into uh, an inflation fetish. <laughs> what the heck? It... Hold on, Israel, we have a new follower. No, uh, the there. Oh, the real John. Oh, I I know who that is. I know who that is. They're not. They're uh, an. Hmm. I think they stop streaming, but they make videos on uh, YouTube still, so every now and then. they um, basically a movie reviewer. I think that would be ah. the closest thing. Yeah, thank you for okay. the follow, John. Yeah, <laughs> Hope you will like uh, the shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the madness. <laughs> Let's see. Krampus is gone, but the children are still trapped as gnomes. Hey, what's that behind the throne? Dooley, I was saying that the children there. Yeah, but look, look at the new thing. What mystery is old? What promise for the adventure? <laughs> but the children. New thing. Fine, but after we look at it, we have to save the children. I I agree one hundred percent with whatever it was you just said. Now, new thing, please. I think you could distract. <clears throat> I think you could distract Dooley with some jingling keys, huh? Uh, uh me has diplomatic immunity, maybe? Wait, what? <laughs> there, I did my part. Christmas nil, Emily won. <laughs> Let's see, it's a vent. Can we talk about saving the kids now? Where do you think it goes? Dooley, come on now, focus. I am focused on the mysterious wondrous event. <laughs> Dooley. What do you think there's a Santa hat in there? What? There's a hat just in the vent there. That big guy flew off with it. He's... So why do you think there's another one in there? Do you reckon that where the real Santa was hidden? I guess I'd best go find out. Here, hold my coat so I can move around a bit freely. Boy, it's dark in there. It's cool, you can borrow my lighter. <laughs> Oop, well, this is very... Uh, no, <laughs> was about... barefoot, that shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like the title wasn't enough of a reference, now we're going full diehard. 
<laughs> Damn it, Dooley was right. Santa's hat is in here. I better search around and see what else I can find. Okay. Oh dear. And hello, Marco! Hey, Marco, why are you in events? Because we're in a level called Buy Hearts. And, well, Die Hearts, Shirt, Shoeless. And we found Santa's hat in there and. Teddy Bear? Teddy Bear? You again? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? No, I guess you didn't need the teddy bear. No, I could only interact with it. It's oop, uh, uh, the Rat King. Bring me cheese. Do my bidding. <laughs> I'll pay. Uh, hello, Wait. Cancer Mouse. I very much doubt yeah, that it... that's a reference to him, but still. Yeah, it doubt it's a reference, but it sounds like a silver reference. <laughs> it looks a red like jacket. <laughs> a red jacket. He must have come this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, boots. He's out of boot. He, I must be close now. Okay, we've only got one boot, though. Hmm. Let's see. Also, the cat hiding in your ship has come out. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, hello. You again? <laughs> Dave, I wondered if you were still around. Were we supposed to see his other boot somewhere then? I don't think I saw. This place is quite a bit of a maze. Hello. <laughs> Lost and found fully explored events. Oh, it looks like they're getting ready for tiny Christmas. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Oop. Trousers. This must be the right way. Uh, did I just... Yep, I just went back the same way. Okay, that just loops around. Oh, bloody uh, heck. Okay, one of Santa's boots. I must be on the right path. Okay, I guess the text there got swamped. Let's bundle all this together before moving on. Yep, there you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the gag, yes. One second. There you go. Thank goodness. I said I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd save the day. Hmm? Because I'm Santa Claus. Now hand me those clothes and get, let's get out of here. I have 1.9 billion gifts to deliver and we're running out of time. Okay, clothes please. Yes. I was half expecting that we'd have to dress up as Santa. Thank you. Could you turn around for a moment? Oh yes, of course. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Boilers. He seemed long forgotten. No wonder this mall is so cold. <coughs> Seems to be locked. Guess we're going out the way I came in. Follow me. Ah. Let's see. We found Santa. Now where's my present? <laughs> the present is the, 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 good, yeah, the feeling of having done a good deed. Ugh, it was cool in there. Glad to have my coat back. Oh dear, Krampus have less this, have, has less left this place in a mess. Mutated children and general bad vibes everywhere. What can we do to reverse things? Hmm. Here, take this magic Christmas dust. It will reverse the bad magic. I don't have much left, so we'll need to water it down. Okay. Yes. Oh. Things no look so good. <laughs> Wait. Right. Um, you guys think he's coming back? Be not betting gnome, <laughs> but not liking odds of that. Okay, I, I, I realized something a, a moment ago. There's another shad who did not get affected. Uh, what, Dooley? No. The tiny one that was in the claw machine. True. So it might have been a bit of distance thing. See, the grotto is down there. Can we drop this on? Nope. <coughs> okay, so now we need to reach the other kids. We suddenly got bad feeling about all this. Maybe it's time I run off home? Okay, I need to dilute it, he said. Hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> Again. 
Let's see, how do we can dilute it then? Let's see, Santa says if we can dilute this and spread it on the kids, we should undo Kramps' hole on them. Nom 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 nom. Okay, the only things I can think of are the rice. And we're not, we're not mixing in broken glass. Uh, hmm. no. Or maybe snow? Wait. Okay, this should wander down to dust. Now to trigger the sprinklers and soak those monsters. Does this count as a note to earlier cases or is it just lazy work? Can't it be both? <laughs> okay, Emily. We need that lighter of yours. Let's see. Who's this doofus? <laughs> Let's see, those kids are counting on you. Good luck, detective. Okay, how do we set off the sprinklers? Mark. <laughs> I got it. Go to the roof. Uh, were, you, were you thinking of diluting it with snow as well? Hmm. We don't have any items at the moment. So how are we going to set off the sprinklers? Well, my delay is huge. <laughs> so done. Do you know if the police are hiring? I want a gun. Beep, beep, bang, bang. <laughs> no. Hmm. Let's see, how do we set off the sprinklers? We don't have anything to cause fire with. Hmm. I might need to look up a hint for this. I don't think this guy has any more info other than Krampus' being... <laughs> Other than Krampus being allergic to milk. Hmm. Let's sit. Well, I've never I... seen a person smile that much while also crying. <laughs> I just love my job so much. The constant shrill of children laughing, hearing the toys repeat the same stock phrases, the bear whispering dark thoughts in my ear. It's a kind of paradise. A, a kind of one. I don't think we saw we had that line before, or those lines. Yeah, concerning. Hmm. Okay, seriously, how do we set off the sprinklers? There's a few uh, extinguishers. Oh wait, the yeah goes nothing. <laughs> I think the sprinklers typically don't get activated when you hit the fire alarm, but oh well. <laughs> That's the kids saved. Let's go tell Santa. And dry up. Well done. Now we'll have the remainder of, Christ of the Christmas dust in the back, please. Remainder? Back? I should put you on the naughty list for that, but you use it for a good cause. Thank you both. If you hadn't been there, this would have been a disaster. Happy to help. Well, uh, I had better get going. I have a lot of gifts to deliver, and I'm already running late. Good luck out there. It's going to be one. It's going to be a cool one tonight. Aim up the good work. You too, boys. You too. Good job, us. Case closed. And now, better move on before he freezes to the spot. Oh no, my sleigh! Maybe we spoke too soon? Let's go see what's happening. Um, what's going on here? Well, 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 if it isn't McLean and Officer Fooley. I'm clamping this man's reindeer for loitering. He doesn't even have a permit for the from the city. I have one from the North Pole's <laughs> licensing department and a note from the NPPD. I'm not interested in what the NPPD ha have to say. This isn't their jurisdiction. Why don't I take over for the- here it is, cover the paperwork. No thanks, I'll do it when I get into the office. Then your friend here can go through the appeals process there. Oh look at the time, I just clocked off for the holidays. I guess that paperwork can wait until I'm back. Toodles. Really? <laughs> you clamp on their fucking Rudolph? 
What a jerk. How will I deliver all the gifts without my reindeer? Could you hook your sleigh up to our car and make it fly? Normally, yes, but somebody used all my Christmas dust, and I'm left with no way to power it. Somebody used all the dust? Who will do such a thing? Oh, yes, never mind. Can we make more dust? Only by finding a kid who doesn't believe in Christmas and changing their minds. We had best start looking. Emily! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me, I'm off the clock. Ugh, you're getting fingerprints all over it. Your greasy smudge will cost us valuable miles per hour up there. I'm so embarrassed that we didn't decorate the car now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Look at those lights. Each a home. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? All those homes with kids. Getting gifts now. <laughs> we'll fix this, Dooley. Yeah, I... I know we will. <laughs> 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 he did it. He really did it. McKing clamped Christmas. Wow. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough reason to... Yeah. Uh, I think I went funny for a little there. Must be from poor circulation. How did I end up here? Okay, we know that the kids who were affected were... <laughs> did be do believe in Santa. Could, could somebody give me a hand down? So, I'm pretty sure that leaves only Emily. Emily? Hmm? Yeah? Uh, I wasn't standing here debating whether to take the leftover gifts or not. Is there still my cotton candy in that tub? Yeah, but I'm working on it. <laughs> well, if it still has candy, you're still my employee. In my employee. Come with us. Oh man, I knew I shouldn't have stopped the rest of my teeth and ran or Tommy. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Now what? This is Santa Claus. For real, Santa Claus. Hello, Emily. Rubbish. Santa's not real. If I'm not real, how did I know that you sent me a letter? I... They made us in school. Anyone would have known that. What did I, what did I ask for? This. Em <laughs> <laughs> Emily received what? item blowtorch. <laughs> My blowtorch. No way. Yes way, Emily. Yes way. This cannot be safe. <laughs> you really are Santa Claus. <laughs> Look at the car! It's taken off! We should be able to fly now. We'll just... Okay, <laughs> for a moment I thought Santa farted magic dust, but no, that was Emily playing with the blowtorch. Oh. Uh. I thought uh. the blowtorch was uh, getting lit on fire. We should be able to fly now. Simon, hook up the sleigh. Oh, man, I thought it was done for the night. <laughs> Oh, oh, Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Except for you, motherfucker! Go die in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, me too, Marco, me too. <laughs> We're getting them back to receive Christmas! Yeah, now St. Nick can sort us out with gifts for tomorrow. Win win. We didn't forget anything else, did we? Uh, guys? Guys? <laughs> guys? <laughs> uh, okay. As cliche as uh, Christmas cases can be, they are still fun to finish because you often get just <laughs> good stuff at the end like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Something I actually realized the other day. There's many good Halloween spooky games and such, but... Christmas games? Are usually... Loved. Mm. Yeah. yeah ty typically a lot of quote-unquote developers just throw out... Uh, 
hastily slap together Christmas stuff. Like, there is good stuff. I think there is a, uh, a Duke Nukem Christmas game. What? <clears throat> and let's... Hmm. I can't think of too many off the top of my head, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Usually the good ones are usually more... But I feel like an experience usually more of like a extra content such, but a full out game that is oh, that is Christmas theme. As far as I know, a huge majority of them are bad. Yeah, because they're just shovelware thrown out there for a quick buck. And yes, Marco, the next case is called Polter Guys. So I'm thinking, I think we at the very least are going to get references to Polter Guys here, but I think also Ghostbusters. So let's yeah. go. No, Marco said Potter guys. No, this, we're not going to meet Harry Potter. Dinner with the Dooley family. That's uh -oh. um. I'm sort of afraid. Am I gonna voice act them all? <laughs> no. <clears throat> all right. Thanks for coming to dinner, Detective. My sister loves meeting my colleagues. Dooley, I've been coming to dinner at your sister's once a month for years. She loves it. Let's get inside before Tommy revolts. It might Tommy revolts. Oh, look at this friendless chap. No Malone, eh? We bought him. We bought him a friend, but it got lost in New York. <laughs> Home Alone 2 reference. It's, I just saw my queen's oh. reflection in the menu. <laughs> oh, also something I learned. Uh, that sequel that uh, they hinted at that would come in the credits after we solved the sixth case. Uh, yeah, it's out already. And yes, I am going to buy it because it's also on discount now. So if we play it immediately game. after this, I'm less sure. Uh, you can, uh, you can just save it for later this month or uh, next uh, year. You can just even me do it. <laughs> and looks like Marker is happy about that. Where is the new sound out of these? They broke last summer, so I glued them back together. Glued them up real good. You're not supposed to stop them, <laughs> Dooley. Did you take the uh, squad core over? I was running late. Sirens are hungry, boys. Esperance. What? What? Patricia, Patricia is gonna be so happy that you made it. It always amuses me that your sister is called Patricia. Why? What, really? You don't think it's odd that you're called Patrick and she's Patricia? No, nope. It's a good name. Your older sister Patricia agrees as does my brother, also Patrice. <laughs> also Patrice? How else would we tell him apart from normal Patrice? I see the uh, intelligence among the Dooley family is uh, genetic. Lazy. <laughs> Let's see, Marco. I still recommend you to play the strength, and I gotta say my favorite childhood you know, horror game. And that be? Uh, let's see. I, th I looked up the strengths, but I forgot. Uh, let me look it up again, quick. If it's on Steam. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. I Come on. the ghost already. The strength. Okay, it's not on Steam, so yeah, I'm guessing it's console, Marco. And what is your favorite childhood horror game then, Ghostmaster? Let's see. What the? What's going on here? Yeah, but on the TV off, if you're gonna play your young child, try up. Electricity doesn't grow on trees. No, Dooley, the TV. What? I just told him. It's alive. Yes, alive and angry. <laughs> the things kids watch. The things kids watch these days, eh? 
<laughs> okay. I feel related to that uh, sentence, but I feel like I have mentally said it to myself many times whenever I saw the uh, Yonke Brats watch SpongeBob or some anything else. Hmm. Let's see, I'm... Can you... Can you put a link to it on the Discord then, Marker? Because I'm looking it up on my phone and it's giving zero matches. Maybe I'm just misspelling in it. <laughs> you found it last time. Is... Yeah, I think I sent a link. Okay, I said. Whatever says this cooking smells great. You can call me Officer Drooly. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Hey, boss. Now you made me lose my high score. I hate you. Kids are such magical creatures, eh, detective? What's going on here? Nothing. Boss, tell your uncle detective what happened. Yeah, fine. Um, Mom rented a video to watch after dinner, but I was bored and put it on. Then the TV flipped out, so I uh, played my game. Where did you rent this video from? <laughs> Indian Burial Ground Video Rentals, Inc. <laughs> um, where's the take now? I don't know. Still in the machine, I guess? Did you try to eject it? Why would I do that, God? Other than there being a thing in your TV? God, leave me alone. You're ruining my game. Okay, I'll look, I'll look for it again there, Marco, after stream. Whatever. You ruin your appetite with that stuff, Dust. I'll do more dinner for you to eat then. You need to get the, this kid <laughs> more snacks, snack is that. <laughs> Interesting piece. Mom painted it. it. It's called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. <laughs> oh, come on! That's an actual novel in the game! Yep. And well, it's based on the scream. Yeah, oh bloody hell, it's a, it's a double reference. Yep. Let's see. But also, nobody here has mouths, so everyone must scream. <laughs> the workout horror flick, The Exorcist. A story about some vampires realizing the error of their way, The Found Boys. And the incredibly tame fantasy adventure classic, No Trouble in Little Italy. What? Daisies are my favorite type of flower. Mine is wool meal. The color needs his fiber. That's vile. <laughs> okay. Let's just unplug it. I don't think so. Zap, zap, zap. Ow. <laughs> Take that. I wonder if I can just eject the tape. Nah, uh huh. Kazap. Ow, my fingers. I need some other way to remove it. <laughs> Good luck, flashbag. What the? Save me. What? Are you trapped there? Who are you? <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. I don't need saving, but the people in this house do. What are you? I'm a poltergeist, a professional haunter of places with a preference towards possessing and or moving things. And this house is my new home. Why are you here? A team of game developers trapped me in a VH VHS tape. I don't know why, but these fools freed me. And I'm never going back. I want revenge for being trapped like that. An utterly dehumanizing experience. But you're not human. I don't care. I just want an excuse to cause trouble. <laughs> Where have you hidden the remote control? Far away from here and far away from you, Flashy. Why is nothing ever easy? What do you want? Mayhem! I'm slowly taking control of this house, and once I do, I'm going to crush everything and everyone in it. You better get everyone out of here, Dooley. The door's locked. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. I'm going to crush everyone who lives in this block. We need to find a way to exercise this. Uh, <laughs> to exercise this TV and fast. How polite for a soon to be flattened flashback. Not on my watch, creep. Okay. Wait, I just realized the painting was a weird reference force. Normally, when they do a reference, they try to hide it a little bit, but. They just out straight out just said its name. Yep. Okay, Patricia. Glad you guys glad you boys could make it. Thanks for inviting us, Patricia. 
I wore my spandex uniform so I didn't have room for second. What? Can I taste? Can I? Can I? Patrick Dooley, learn some patience. If I want that patience, I didn't have to become a doctor. Rat. <laughs> what were you saying about uh, uh, the IQ there, Leon? Uh, yeah, at least it, at least among the parents, it seems, or at least they were <laughs> lazy with the names. Also, it's patience when you get when you are a doctor, Dooley, not patience. Yeah, no, it kind of makes sense for those words are usually misheard and misspelled for each other quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense. Don't eat too much. Dinner will be ready soon. I won't. I just need to borrow these sausages. Okay. Confiscating those for later? Good plan. No, Dooley. Popular tarts, the breakfast treat of choice for promiscuous children. Okay. Oh, each of these. Or is it random? Okay, it's just half of them. Serial killer, spot them while they're young. A baked beans pizza, because the little people in your life are disgusting. From Marco, quack! Give the chocolate to boss so they can eat more dinner. I don't know why I gave Molko that voice. Sorry. <laughs> Careful now, it's piping hot. Need some help when taking out the washing? Always. Buzz is useless when it comes to chores. Thank you, Francis. Get a sheet. I can never foresee a, a situation where I can care uh, where I want to carry around I uh, want to carry a pot around in my jacket. Okay, Patricia. Hi, Francis. Hope you brought your appetite with you. I did. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, Francis. You know I love when you visit. Dinner smells good. Fry it up with some onion and garlic and anything will smell good. <laughs> I'm sure it will be lovely. It will be better than a steady diet of coffee and donuts, anyway. Hmm. Garlic is good for chasing off unnatural things. May I take some? Sure, here are some leftovers. It'll leave your hands smelling divine. Yeah, most people don't like the smell of garlic, but I I really do like garlic. Yeah, I'll probably put garlic sauce with just about anything. I like your sauce and spice, but you cannot make me eat chunks of garlic. Yeah, to eat it raw is, or even, you're not supposed to eat the garlic itself. Like that, it's only supposed to be, uh, yeah, as a seasoning. Yeah. <clears throat> Though, it's... confusingly, garlic and onion use the same word here in Sweden. Lurk. <laughs> okay. It's probably makes them confused. I, I guess you say, I don't like onion bits. I, like, I can't like onion spices, but when I finally bite into on onions with my teeth, it makes my body cringe, but apparently my body thinks I'm bitten a bug or something. Okay. I, I know Sweet. from personal experience that I don't like it when I find something hard in something that's supposed to be soft, or something soft in something that's supposed to be hard. That's, that sounds red flag sent to my brain. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't really do you. And yeah. yeah, typically when I make garlic sauce, I make it pretty strong. Uh, the one tip with garlic sauce is to is to test out your things that you dilute the mayo and garlic with, because some things, uh, up, some things obfuscates the the strength of the taste. Like if you're using yogurt, I believe. Um, yeah, the, if 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 you make it with yogurt and then test it out, um, and yeah, it's going to come out a lot softer than when it will be in a larger batch. It's like when you've spread it across your uh, meal, which can be really, really strong. I accidentally made a batch uneatable at one time because the yogurt kept hiding the taste so much or the strength so much that, well, when we actually put it on the foods, uh, well, we had to scrape it off. You mean it actually overpowered the spice? 
No, not the yogurt, but it. Uh, this, oh, well, there I was too much garlic in there for it to be of and to be tasty still. Like so freaking strong the garlic was. <laughs> oh dear gods! How much it's, garlic do you use? I forget, but it was a lot. You just squinted, see. didn't you? Not that much, but still a bunch. Let's see. Patricia, have you noticed anything unusual since Buzz tried out that tape? You watched it already? But boy, so exhausting. Sorry, Francis. I've been running all over this place getting dinner ready, so I don't think I, I'd have noticed even if the walls were closing in around me. Goodbye. Talk soon, Francis. Let's Wait. see. Hmm. Something I should probably try at some point as well is... Uh, in a recent recipe that I tried out, it said to to uh, put ginger through um, or die not uh, to put ginger after the uh, outside has been cut off, of course, to put that through a garlic press. I'm going to need yeah, to try some things with sense. that. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. That's why I got to inquire, wondering <laughs> why is that there. Yeah, <laughs> spooky doorway, developers. So, what's going on in here? Buzz must have left the pantry light on. He's forever leaving the lights on. Does he think electricity grows on trees? That's not a saying. Uh, uh, hello? <clears throat> um, did your sister get an extension built onto the house? A little bus income? Unlikely. I wish I could stop sign. I wish I could. There's the remote. I just need a way to safely get to it without falling infinitely. You've got a pretty judgy expression for a rubber duck trapped outside of time and space. Why is there no actual food in this pantry? <laughs> also, just think about all the food you could store in here. If you could, well, hold it together in a net. Okay. So, no other rooms than this? Hmm? Yeah, we can't move away from here, even. Hmm. Where is... Boss Dad? Wait, is it on Little Boss Income? Wait, does, does that mean... There's no foreign boss? Is they doing... News that or something? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. I'm doing that in Patricia's home. Only a terrible guest would do that. Hmm. Yep. Okay, I actually thought that it was not going to do anything, but apparently... Okay, this is now in <laughs> an improvised rope. Okay. Yep. Okay, Dooley, hold on to this as tightly as you can. I will never let go, Yak. Now don't say that. She did let go. She held on to the prom. Hey, let's discuss this over dinner. Right now it's time to grab this remote. Fine. Titanic reference. Okay, I, I was half expecting him to just eat up the, the sausages. He probably did right now, but I'm surprised he managed to restrain himself. I would. I like sausages. Hmm, nothing's happening. I am invincible! Uh, the batteries are dead. God. Nah, they're good. I'm just uh, all powerful. Don't look for new ones. Just give up and escape your fate. A accept your fate. Buzz? <laughs> what? I need your uh, Joy Child's <laughs> batteries. Make it worth my while and then think about it. What happened to respecting your elders? You can't get rich off of respect. Plus, you abandoned me at the mall. <laughs> Aren't RF uh, Franklin did okay from it? Okay, that's a reference that's going over my head. Whatever. Same. Here. Hey, Buzz, want some chocolate? Yes. I'll trade you for the batteries for your joy your child. No way. Oh. Okay, more delicious chocolate for Julie and me. Hooray! Fine, I'll trade. Ow. 
There and there. That's the remote back up and running. Get that away from me! <laughs> Received evil VHS. Let's see, the cassette that started all of this. I need to find something uh, to purify it with. Hopefully we can stink the evil out of this tape. <laughs> Which will package, what? It's almost ready to go. I just need to cook the garlic juices into the tape. Give me back my tape, you monster. You want to crush us all and I'm the monster? This won't stop me, you know. I'm just, I'm still gonna swash you all. Only now I'll make it slow. Hmm. Maybe I can do something to this tape that will help me get rid of that thing. Okay, still can't un uh, <clears throat> still can't unplug it though. Let's see. I'll just have to put this in here for a moment so the garlic juices can melt in and cleanse the cassette. And it's ready. Okay, let's hope we didn't ruin dinner that way. Yeah. Okay, here's your tape back. Actually, let's just one purified tape cassette. Now to pop it back into the VCR and exercise the poltergeist. Yeah, give me that. Wait, this doesn't taste right. What? Damn you! I can cabbage and potatoes, my favorite. <laughs> Eat up, everyone. I want my three best boys ready for whatever the wolf throws at them. Thanks, Patricia. No need to thank me. We're all family here. Ugh, grown-ups are lame. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Wise guys. <laughs> okay. That one was surprisingly quick. Yeah. Let's see. It's Dooley's birthday, so I'm taking him to Twin Lakes' number one roadside attraction to celebrate. Bates Motel. It's excited. Why am I? This is such a neat way to spend my birthday. I can't believe Chief Scully gave us the time of work. I have a lot more sway with the chief than you might think. You didn't tell her, did you? No, but perk of the job, I told her El Chupacabra was causing trouble out here. Is that a gang? Point is, we're not expected back at the office for a few days, so let's get there and kick back. <laughs> it's Chupacabra being the goat vampire thing in goat Mexico. Sucker. Yeah. And let's see it. Just looked it up. It was Norman Bates and his hotel, I believe. Hmm. I can't believe it's taken us so long to come to Twin Lakes' finest roadside attraction. It's the finest and only attraction. Excited to see what sort of stuff has been fished up from lake monsters and stored here. And I'm excited to find out where they're taking all the... Uh, of why they're taken all the way out here to the desert and not stored near the lake itself. Anyway, let's grab our bags from the car and sort out our room at the reception before we go visit the museum. So much neon! Let's see, Chupacabra eats goat. It's not a goat thing, yeah. It's so you, uh, it's so you can't see how crummy this place is. Oh, no one's my best body brings me for my birthday could be the crummy. <laughs> Let's see, we should drop our bags off in our room first. If I just drop them here, can we go see the attraction right away? You could, but you'll lose your stuff. Dooley, why did you bring a lamp? You're only here for the night, so I figured we'd need pack light. Just that... Just that and some power supply supplement in case we want to work out while we are here. I love you, buddy. Don't ever change. I thought not to. It's why I wear my uniform on holidays. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold okay. on. Hold on. 
He only wears his uniform on holidays. Yeah, it, he, he wears it on holidays as well. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be worried for whatever has he older has been wearing. <laughs> A trash can full of old burrito wrappers and half full energy drink cans. That's important drink. It lets you see sounds and hear you and hear your hot beatbox. I hope I never have to drink that. Yeah, I know. Wait. Okay, now I'm confused what era this is supposed to be in. Yeah, I think oh. it's just... I think it's supposed to be in modern times. But, yeah. Really powerful energy drinks are... Well, can be absolutely dangerous. Like, there's those monster drinks that come in the big cans. Yeah, you're supposed to not drink those in one go. They're supposed to be multiple servings. And I think I people have been hospitalized and possibly even died from just energy drink overdose because it... I just realized... <laughs> VS PSS was still a thing when energy drinks came about. Okay. <clears throat> and plus, some people just prefer VHS. Yep. Actually, yeah, with the, with the big-ass phone, it, this is probably supposed to be somewhere in the 80s slash 90s. Oh, yeah. well, not... What are you watching? None of your business, that's what. I'm so glad this place has aircon. It's so warm out in the desert. Eh, stop talking, stop taking in all my- <laughs> Stop taking all my cool air. Your room has its own air- cool air. Go breathe in there. You're raising the temperature level in here. Jackass. Did you know the first set reception was built in high by Julius Caesar? 932 BC. I can't do shit. What history books are you reading? Wait, you can read about history? So did we talk to you out here? I can't believe we were able to get into such an exclusive establishment. I think you may want to rein in those expectations, buddy. Eh, I caught that fish myself. You ain't never caught one that big, have you? No, that's for sure. Technically, we caught one that it was a lot big, and though I think it was more a reptile than a fish. Yeah, more reptile. <laughs> and ain't uh, for no customer's use. It's for when I want to fax my mother, make sure she's fed the cats. She never remembers to feed that damn cat. Every night I come home to it screaming at her and her screaming at it. Just feed the damn cat, ma. Why are you using a fax machine for that? I don't want to talk to her. Don't want to talk to you either. Rude. Hey, that water's not for drinking. Really? What do I look like? A unicorn to you? Of course, really. It's my water. You want water? You go to the diner next door. Next. The desert. A one-stop destination for all your poorly conceived spiritual journeys. Next door? There's a diner next door. Apparently. Eh, close the freaking door. You're letting all the sand in. Why are you here anyway? We have a room booked here. So you're the guys. I was wondering if you were gonna turn up. It's late. You're late. You're in room two. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't clean the place out after the last guest. Great. What is it being honest? <laughs> we're here for the attraction. Then you're in the wrong place, moron. This here is a motel, as you should have been able to see from the motel sign out front. Not so good at, at, at the detective thing for a detective, eh? The traction is back on the main, uh, back out on the main road. Then follow the sign. You'll know you're near on account of the localized sandstorm. Localized sandstorm? That's what I said, ain't it? Now, you think that a smart guy like me can, can handle all that? Okay, room number two. Wait, did he say, have something more? Yeah, just asking about the room number again, so I don't think we'll get uh, much out of that. Hey, wise guys, where where is it that you think you're going? And there is for golden ticket holders. You, do you have a go, hold a golden ticket? No, thought not. Okay, suspicious. Let's see, room number one. It's too dark to see anything inside. 
Yep. It's full of out-of-date shampoo and toothpaste. All the food items are gone. Doesn't look like this is all that well maintained. Most like all non-military services in this country. Uh, yeah. Oh look, there's a bag of cheese puffs in the slots. Might as well take it. These things never go off. Uh, not so sure about that. Maybe we should close the curtains. This is us. Let's unlock it and go in. Here we are. Finally, I feel like we have been walked forever and seen nothing. Okay, this is us. Let's dump our bags. There's a note saying, I owe you one Bible signed Pastor Farley. Uh, reference missed. Let's see. Seems like a good place to put our bags. Is it Thank goodness, Miss Angon. Back? Hmm. Let's see. Thank goodness there's aircon. This desert heat would be stifling otherwise. I don't think I could stay indoors without it. Over here at night. Hmm. That's yeah, all damn cold at night. Yeah. I've seen this before. It's the AI that controls the ship. Wait, what? Hello? Are you there? They must have let the battery run down. God, I don't want it watching me sleep. It's going to take a print screen of that since I can use a picture of a steering wheel. Okay, that's us settled in. Shall we go see the attraction now? Yes, finally! That vibrating bed? It's one of those 50 cent vibrating finger beds. Hello, gorgeous! Okay. Yeah, I don't get the idea well about vibrating beds. Let's see. This is not connected to anything. I guess we're sleeping with the lights on. Uh, it's for it's supposed to be uh, for couples to make uh, the intercourse more enjoyable, or something like, like that. Curtains are pulled over. I can't see inside. It's a swimming pool. Get those flies go! How many riders just off after I swim? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that flies end up in the water. They drown. This brings bad, yeah, back bad memories. What are you doing out here at this hour? Sunbathing? It's nighttime. I don't want to get sunburned. Daytime is when the rays are out hunting. Dooley, family of yours? A bucket of highly chlorated water from the pool. You want to watch that stuff? They say it's uh, good for your teeth, but really it's so the sheeple don't rise up against the gov government. Dooley, you're thinking of fluorides, which is not used for mind control. Also, you shouldn't be putting chlorine anywhere near your mouth, it's toxic. Oh, that might explain the horrible taste in my mouth each morning. Yeah, chlorine tastes horrible. Let's see, I'm, bl I'm glad I brought some trunks. I'm glad I, I like skinny dipping. Yeah, uh, this is unlocked. Are you gonna clean the donut crumbs out of the car finally? Dooley, you left those crumbs there. Is that a no then? <laughs> it's like a witch broom for a damper kind of witch. For a sea witch, perhaps. Circuit breaker. Circuit breaker for the hotel. And the boiler. This must be where the motel heats its water and rooms. Pool too, I guess. Okay, nothing useful for us here. Actually, I forget. I think most people have taste chlorine, but as a kid, when they try to swim in a swimming pool. Yeah. It's horrible. Just look at that monster. <laughs> Chemical Blue is the name, I think. <laughs> okay, we're yeah, not the... going into that. Three wall rooms? This is the biggest motel I've ever been to. These are the smallest I've seen. Yeah, typically there are like uh, at least a dozen. Do vending machines do birthday cakes? Would you really want cake from a vending machine? Will you not? 
<laughs> okay. In my life, I've only once run in a, into a, uh, into expired something expired in a vending machine. Do you think I had four hats? I can just draw that. Do you think I had a head for hats? I was think of trying to wear hats more often. Dooley, you're always wearing a hat. You're a police hat. Sure, but I have to wear this for work. I was think of, of a stylish hat. Oh, for off duty? Ah, no, to wear over this one. On duty is when I meet the most new people. So I want to try looking my best, you know. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. I, I think that's hard to put another hat on top of. Yeah. That must be the satellite antenna for the motel. Okay. Let's go to the diner first. A boy meets grill. <laughs> or boy who meets grill. That's a good one, actually. <laughs> oh, good God. This makes me cringe. This sign is painted on. I guess they're open 24 7. Those are my kind of opening hours. <laughs> Let's see. It's like a preseason torpedo coming right for my heart. Processed. <laughs> Order whatever you want, boys. Yes. But remember, the cook only really knows how to bake cookies. Oh, wait, what? I hope the burgers here are as good as they look. Are they ever? Not in Twin Lakes, honey. The mayor ruled all food has to be worse than advertised. Keeps the population dissatisfied. Uh, what? What? I need some of those to wipe the drool from my mouth. <laughs> Mustard ketchup. The two gender... What? I, I personally don't like mustard that well. It typ uh, typically, it's a bit too sharp in taste for me. Not strong, more like sharp, if that's even a good descriptor of it. Uh, uh, but I, I, I do like it when it's... Something to me, they're saying. That's what I want. Yeah, I, I do like it when it's thinned out some by... With mustard... No, not must, not, you don't thin mustard with mustard. With mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I kind of liked mustard as a kid, but then I stopped liking them. But I only recently started liking them again. But I prefer... The only time I like mustard alone is for something like ham. But otherwise I want it something else with the mustard. For everything else. Uh, let's see, there was an improvised recipe that I had for... Uh, easy honey mustard sauce, which was basically... Two packets, one of uh, mustard, one of uh, mayo. I forget these exact uh, proportions, but I think it was either one-fifth or one-fourth of the mustard, then the, the rest of the fourth or fifth uh, mayo, and then just add in uh, honey to your taste and mix it all together. Okay. Hmm. I should see if we have more of those old packages and I can check how what the... Uh, <clears throat> what the... Uh, what the, uh, I'm, for, I'm bl blanking on a word here, the ratio is, what the ratio is. Perfect for carrying meals, hitting muggers on the head, and impromptu games of frisbee. <laughs> he ain't lying. How is it? It's rats and mice, you know, proper pastry. Right, of course, it's all of that stuff, or of course it is. Oh great, this guy is going to be completely incoherable, incoherent with his speech, isn't he? Welcome boys, can I fix you up a little something to eat? Are you the boss here? I surely am, though it's only me and Klaus and we're closed off season, so it's not that fancy a setup. He's my lights on and his workshop running, so... Wait, for guy said anything. Workshop? <laughs> is the first name of your... Uh... Uh, of your employee, Nick. Are you linked to the motel? Gracious, no. I don't think Narvin would want to work with others. He's not what I, I, he's not what you'd call a people person. Why is Narvin in a public-facing job? Where I heard it, family business. His mom fished, his pa ran the place. 
he got stuck with it uh, for some reason or an uh, another. But I think he likes the power. I think he wanted to get his hands on the real abuse of authority and become police, but it didn't work out. Hey. If they'd given me a shrug animation, <laughs> this is where I'd use it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? All right, shoppers. Shoppers. It's rambling slang for coppers. Is it? I don't know, trying to butter churn it. Learn it. Right, doesn't sound like it's going all that well. No. <laughs> what brings you out here? Trying to promote our roadshow Lady Farnafalls Frivolous Carnivals. Wait, is that slang or what it's called? I don't know anymore. <laughs> See you later, perspective. Okay, that, that guy is so filled with slang that he doesn't know what's language anymore. The slang oh ums almost. The vent is the kitchen. Standard dinner waste. Hey there. Hey, just look. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, fast one, aren't you? An abandoned car. Looks like there's a discarded cross wrench in the trunk. I prefer my wrench is happy. Let's take it and shield it up. <laughs> Not what that means, Dooley. Actually... I'm, go I'm gonna... concerned. <laughs> If I just give these cheesy puffs to the rat, then I'll be down treats, but not up a rat. Let's see. Hmm. And you were saying? Uh, uh, what was that? Well, uh, yeah, I said that. The uh, dude concerns me a little bit. Nothing like that dry spring desert air, you can really feel the sand in your nostrils. Also, it reminds me... I can't believe we were able to get into such an exclusive ex establishment. Okay, that, that was just a repeat from the other one. Can we stop what we are doing on order one of everything, please? No, and I don't think we'd want to, even if we could, from what they said of what they said of uh, the cook. Let's see. I think we have all we need from here. Okay. Uh, road. Carbon is coming to three lakes. What are we doing at this dump? I mean, face forward and photo birthday trip. It's a shame the signs are the fanciest part of this place. We can actually go to the desert. And attraction! Ah, uh, didn't you... I didn't think it was this much of a walk. It'll be good for us. Hmm, I wonder what that haze in the distance is. What's going on here? I think it... I think it's part of the attraction? I don't, Dooley. I don't. It's a sandstorm, but why is it centered on the attraction? Does this mean... Yes, Dooley. A case to investigate. Say it isn't so... Uh, read the <laughs> building cable. Trout of this world. See, there's a sandstorm centered on the attraction's entrance. If we want to get inside to investigate, we'll need to find a way to block it. Yeah, it's just completely sanded in. You can't get in while that sandstorm is blocking the way. We need to cut the storm off. And, yep. The information stand seems to be closed down because of the storm. So what the heck is with this contraption up here? There's a fishing rod with a shovel. Yeah, that, that's a boot. Uh, uh, boot, boot, yes, boot. Sho Why did I say shovel? Probably we need a shovel for the sand, but... Uh, does this don't look nice back right there? I can't see what... I, I can see with all this sand in my eyes. Okay. Oh, Nothing to do here. Hmm. 
I wonder if this could block the wind causing that sandstorm. There, he spoke of that immediately. On the car. Hello. Ruff, ruff. An anthill. A hill made of ants. Close, buddy. Close. Look, detective. It's waving. For once, I'm glad to see you, Moon. It'd be very dark if we were out here on our own. Looks like a football. Just don't kick it. Okay. Wait, is it, oh. it a football? Was this made in Canada or Europe? Hmm. I think in I think it's more in Europe where it's called a soccer ball. It's in America where it's called a football. In both cases, I think. I don't know. I mean, Actually, like, no. The, the... The shape of the cactus look like a normal football. It was very like round. That's. Had it been another shape, I would be. I agree with you, but since it looked like a normal, roundish football, I feel like it would be weird for him to say football for. I, if this was made in America, I feel like he was, he would have said soccer for a round ball. Probably, yeah. All right, choppers. Is that your truck out front? My what? Your truck, your um, rubber, rubber duck? Oh yeah, my rubber duck. It's parked out on the in indescribable code. Indescribable code? Road? Yep. Can I borrow the um, bee's knees? Oh, if you want the bee's knees, then I'll want something in return. Eh? Oh no, let me think. A garden hermit, one for my arsenal to set up in your circus clown. Okay, sure. Tell you what. If you're my truck, please, I'll need a permit so my uh, carnival can set up in your town, mate. Yeah, okay, I understand that <laughs> at that time. <laughs> right, off I go to phone the precinct. Okay, see you later, perspective. Okay, so we need to go find a phone. Or a fax machine. Uh, ideas for police business. Uh, fine, but you got 30 seconds, I swear. Right, they, they come with a phone as well, yeah. Dispatch? Sally, it's me. I need a... Who's me? Sally, it's Detective McQueen. We work together. We're friends. Well, if we're such good friends, how come you didn't ask how I was first? Straight to business. I can go to business... I can go to business route too, you know? I'm sorry, Sally. That was rude of me. How are you? Busy. Too busy for idle chatter. What's up? <laughs> can you ask the chief to sign a permit so a carnival can come in... Uh, can come to Twin Lakes? No need. I have pre-signed permits here. Consider it done. Why do we have signed permits just sitting around? Look, do you want the permit or do you want to ask questions? Permit, please. I'll fax it to you. <laughs> I'm guessing that city doesn't see too much uh, visiting stuff. Plus, he probably yeah. just gives them out to everyone who bloody asks. Okay, here's your permit. Do I have your permit? Sorry, your what was it? Your something something hermit? Oh, that's a week-long cruise. Good news. Here's my rubber duck's bee's knees, truck's keys. I appreciate it, but I have to ask, why are you trying to talk like this? It seems like a lot of hassle. It adds an error on the <laughs> authenticity, doesn't it? Does it, though? I'm not sure if he's even doing... Yeah, I don't think he's doing the whole slime thing correctly at all. Yeah. Up in, Dooley. Let's go block that sandstorm. Okay, the truck has blocked enough of the storm to get us near the entrance. This is exciting. Usually people are struggling to get out of a museum. Hello there. Welcome to Trout of This World, the Twin Lakes uh, Twin Lake Findings Museum. Hello again. Hello again to you too. Long time no see. You don't remember me, do you? 
I'm afraid that is where you have caught me out. Please forgive me. In my job as tourism officer of Twin Lakes, I meet literally tens of people a year. <laughs> Try though I do, I can't rem cannot remember them all. Uh, it's the dumbass from the uh, tourism board again. Yes, I recognized him right away. What is that storm about? You know, I often wonder the same thing about storms and blizzards. Heat waves do. What is it about? What is it? And what's it all about? But what about this one? Ah, Jamie, this one. This one they will come and they will ask you about, I told myself. Sadly, I had stepped out of the, you know, to the bathroom. All I know is that a fisherman came to see the place, and by the time the storm came, he was gone. What did he look like? Yellow hair and a mustache, and fisherman clothes, as in clothes that smell like fish. <laughs> what can you tell us about this place? Also, I'm going to pour myself a drink, so there's probably going to be some noises from that. Let's see. Well, despite numerous warnings, many people go to Lake Monster to fish. Of course, the very real monster has almost certainly eaten all of the fish. With probably no fish to catch, people dredge up old boots, license plates, terrible artifacts of power, and reverse bicycles. Reverse bicycles? What? In case they're of value, the mayor wants them all cataloged. And in case they belong to a terrible lake fiend, I, as the head of tourism, store them as far from the lake as I can. When something is found, I drive it over here. Wait, reverse bicycles? Yes, the frame is made of inflated rubber and the wheels are metal. Local inventor Claudia Roth invented them to reduce bike con <laughs> congestion across the city. I'd... What? And also, I think that was the first time I actually could hear you pouring water into a glass or something. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have any merchandise? Oh yes, we saw boots, model on boots found in the lake. They're very uncomfortable. We also have t-shirts soaked in lake water to give them a unique pungent smell. And hats with our logo on them. Hat. I want a hat. One hat for the birthday boy, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh, no, no. oh, come on. Uh, the name of that one. So, when you said a logo on it... <laughs> I meant we have built miniature versions of our logo on top, yes. I love it! <laughs> okay... It looks like a hazard. Museum rules. 1. No licking, items, buildings, <laughs> or other attendees. Two, theft of display items only okay for supernatural investigations. <laughs> Three, no lake monsters. Okay, let's dig our way in. So far, I'm digging this case. God, I just had an idea. No. Oh. You can hang food on the hook. Yep. <laughs> Look at all this, the finest things fished from the bottom of the lake. Of late months. Oh, for love of. <laughs> the Wolden Lakes is literally called Lake Monster. Yep. It's oh, also oh, the. Oh, oh. It's also the place where you find the camp site. I thought that was a, that was a typo earlier. Oh. oh. Lucky thing. Uh, if they ever were to name just a camp, uh, a camping area, campsite, and the lake it's around Lake Monster, I would, I would actually give them props for it being. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'd give them props for being, just being blunt, lazy. <laughs> lazily blunt. <laughs> a bubbling ball, a teddy bear, and oh look, a knocked over lamb. Speaks for itself, really. Yes, there are no cameras on display here. Stay strong, guys. No, somebody will fish one of. Somebody will fish one up someday. Really? I don't think many places do no photography anymore these days. Typically, only well, uh, with movies and such. It, because well, that's just being an ass. Yeah, bathrooms as well. Yeah, of course. 
What kind of bait do you think they use to catch this? It's a very strong line at the very least. Oh wow, a photo of Bigfoot! That's the picture I took. Wait, you met Bigfoot? It's fate. Can you introduce me? Sure. <laughs> That's from like the third case or something? A fourth? It says it's the Holy Grail genuine article, number three, 3,423 from a limited run of 5,000. That's not very limited. <laughs> genuine indeed. A strange looking lamp with its lid removed. <laughs> the genie's not in right now. Please leave your wish after the beep. Beep. <laughs> I wish I had how to go back to work after this trip. I wonder if it's a real genie's lamp, and if so, where's the genie? His stray magic might explain the sandstorm outside. We should look around. Something that powerful could cause a lot of trouble. We'd better have a look around for it. Hey, this looks like that camp counselor I bet. That was Nigel, in the disguise. Oh yeah, boy, is it, con is it convincing. An ominous, uh, ominous custom plates. Can't swim. This claims to be Excalibur. Give me a look. Ah, can't get it out. A board skeleton. Reminds me of the time I picked museum locks with some of these. <laughs> yep. Yoink. And hello again. <laughs> This guy is starting to make me nervous. I think it's been in basically every level so far. It's a pretty ominous looking skull. Yeah, but it's off screen, so we shouldn't pay any attention to it. <laughs> wow, a two-headed fish. Hmm, I can see the stitch lines. A two-headed fish that can stitch. Even more impressive. Duly. <laughs> Culture Club. Oh, and that's uh, that icon is the uh, singer from that uh, group with like Karma Chameleon and such. Just. I did Were not they... know that. Were they called Boy George or something? How should I know? I don't know them. Hmm. That, that actually Who reminds me of a video I saw yesterday. Apparently, in America, there was in, in America the marshals, the people who look for wanted people and such. Uh, at one point, they managed to pull off uh, quite an operation by luring in hundreds of want people who were wanted for stuff like uh, assault, murder, just fraud, and other minor things by uh, basically holding a fake contest where they had uh, where they could quote unquote could all win uh, or had won tickets for football matches or something and uh, well you can guess what happened they get there and they get arrested hello what? again hmm? or did we meet you before let's see look at all this stuff i don't think you're meant to take photos it says right there on the sign what are you the police yes actually oh I just thought your son was dressed up for Halloween. Oh no! We're the same age, and it's the wrong time of year. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm very flattered. You're not supposed to oh, be. Oh. That got us thing. Okay, so we have a gin to. I was genie, rather I think. Yeah, yeah, genie is, I think, more a wrong translation of gin. But yeah, I was trying to think of a pun, but I don't have any at the ready of getting a <laughs> wrangling a genie back into its bottle. Yeah. First, but we'll have I to find the bastard yeah, yeah. as well. Our translation of a yin in Swedish is ande, which is also the word for spirit. Hmm. So it's kind of confusing. So 
så gör, men du ser in i lamp, in Swiss, you say, anden i lampan. Så so, yeah, det gets a bit confusing där. Oh, hello. I didn't think we could get in here. Hey, I know you. You're Santa Claus. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm somebody else. Yes, somebody else entirely. Wait, hold, pause, <laughs> wait, wait. She said earlier that he only knows how to make cookies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, love of. What are you doing here? I'm just a guy with bills to pay, just like you. Eating bills, am I right? Maybe. <laughs> well, I guess we know what uh, Saint Nick does the rest of the year. <laughs> Season's greetings. Whatever they might be. <laughs> Don't I know you call Santa out in the diner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you know that outside of America, people don't call this jelly, they call it jam. And jelly is what we call jello. Here, jam yeah, means stuck, but also there's it means stuck as well as jelly. Language is sense, saying me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd hate to be a non-American trying to capture even a loose glimpse of their culture. As us Americans are always saying, when in Rome, Monday morning's quarterback. Yeah, I could not agree anymore. Why do we get the feeling that the developers of this were European? Yeah, uh, the in all European are very self-aware Americans. For, uh, I see many videos where Americans are all very self-aware. Let's see. A jar of maple syrup. Oh dear. Oh, I just need a stack of pancakes. This could work well as makeshift glue. Not a chance. I know what you're like, young... F young frella. Because <laughs> I've never met you before. More condiments. I guess a place like this can never have too many sauces. Some yeasts for making burger buns and other stuff rise and expand. I decide for burger is rising and expanding as we stand here. Maybe I should <laughs> hold it there. You can't just take my yeast. I need it for making Christmassy and uh, more other more year-long types of cakes. Some weighing skills, they don't look used. I'm an artist, I guess the amounts. And the elves help. I mean, Merry Christmas, oh crap. Maybe should check it for clothes. A shiny food, uh, food blender for sauces and shakes. And seasonal items such as eggnog, just an example. Seems to be broken. I hope no critters get in here. Me too. We'd have to close down and wait for a fumigation if they did. It's full of Christmas cookies. It's my signature dish. Okay. That dish. I guess if you put enough of them on a plate. Let's see, it's taking a bit longer to load now. Hmm. Can we... No, that's no way to spend it. What? Actually... Let's see. No. Hmm. Now what is the, the wrench for? Yeah, now I'm confused. Now that's where one over. Oh, uh, hello. Look at the jawline on this fella. You, you're gorgeous, debonair, suave. I was going to say blue. Oh, shadow to only notice the color of my skin. No, I just, it's not so common around here. Where I'm from, everyone is blue. Pink faces like you would be odd. But I have the decency to not make a thing of it. I... Sorry. So you already missing Genie? Yes, I was minding my own business, drying out some soaked delicates for my lamb's skinny dip in your lake, when this man gives me an unsolicited rubbing. Now I'm stuck with him until he makes three wishes. Usual fare, no extra wishes, nuclear wars off the table, no naughty stuff. 
I thought I'd escape this life, but I'm stuck with him until he wishes out. Then whoever finds me next gets to go. I wish I knew a way to break this cycle and get home to my family. People running around the state with wishes seems dangerous. Maybe we can get this genie home. And maybe we can get uh, them home while we are at it. I just said that. Good, cause you know, seems like getting wishes off the streets of TL will be a good thing. I'm surprised you're so against it. Dooley, were you even listening? Dooley, I'm not against it. I suggested it. Okay, okay, I won't force you on. I just think it'd be safer for the city if we helped. And nice to get them home. Are you just being contrarian or is that hat on too tight, Dooley? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from the dreams of ancient men, a place of incompatible delights and sights. You don't know, do you? Nah, I left when I was a kid. <laughs> How would you get home? I don't know. I've never gotten back. All I know is that I have to be free of this guy's wishes first. I'm sorry that I can't give you better guidance, but wishes are my realm. For guidance, you need something like a spirit quest. A spirit quest? Yeah, a high-intensity journey into the wilderness. High intensity? Like high energy? People usually mix up a powerful concoction to, concoction to help them get in the right mindset. Or aka high. I don't know much more, to be honest. Not my kind of thing. But maybe somebody wise can guide you? Wise, eh? Fine, I'll do what I can, but I am not promising anything. We're going to get high of that energy drink, aren't we? If you need to ask me anything else, you know where to find me, besides wherever Master here goes. Let's see. Guten Abend, mein Freunde. Good evening. Hello, friends. What a glorious evening. As a child, I'd sit out on evenings like this and think. And think what? I just think. You know, thoughts. Uh, okay, so head empty. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is my good luck charm. My ace in the hole. A third phrase meaning they are good for me to have. With them, I will surely find the best piece of lung <laughs> lake junk that has ever been found. Then I'll be on the cover of Lake Junk Monthly. <laughs> That will undoubtedly lead to a dazzling array of talk show panels and book signings. Not my books, of course. I've not written one. I'll just sign random books. After that, what could life possibly hold for me? I'll grow jaded and weary and travel the world looking for the next lake to fish in, the next piece of junk to find, always hoping to, rel to relive past glories. In the end, my mania will overshadow the original find and will become solely what I'm known for. Or so I can hope. Um... Uh... Okay, someone's trying to emulate Henry Ford. <laughs> what brings you to the desert? Well, I can, I'll tell you a story, shall I? I came here to fish something up from your lake and put it in the machine here. Is that the end of your story? Yes, didn't you like it? It was certainly to the point. <clears throat> what are some random likes and dislikes? For no reason, none at all. I don't like being hungry and being too or being too warm. I'm allergic to ants. They make me itchy. On the other hand, I enjoy forcing mystical beings into helping me fish junk to a better standard than I'd otherwise that otherwise achieve. This has been a good conversation. Thanks for having it. Okay, so we're going to have to get ants on him. <laughs> Are we saying? Are they supposed to be German? Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to mess with his air conditioning. Yeah. Also, I just realized something we should have, I should have made you do earlier in the last case. Oh? You should speak it again uh, as Patricia in Scottish accent, or whatever accent I'm using. I don't know anymore. Let's see, I don't think the drink alone is strong enough. I need a way to make it more powerful. Cactus? What a beautiful mm. night. You never really see the moon in the city. Dooley, we see it all the time. Most nights. Oh, I never really looked up in the city. On account of not being able to see anything when I do. That's the rim of your hat. <laughs> Let's see. Do we mix? Do I have to? Hmm, how do we make it more powerful? I think we've seen all there is at the moment, but again, I'm running... Actually, I'm probably missing stuff again. 
Yeah, I saw the cactus and it actually looks more like an American uh, soccer ball than a hmm. regular football. Let's see, how do we make the energy drink stronger? And yeah, we're going to need to find some way to uh, get our German friend to start wishing things. Hmm. Okay, time for hints. Yeah, uh, why does he have a golden ticket thingy? I think he's just bullshitting. Yeah. Okay, Dark Side Detective. With the top, Bates Motel. Permit Genie Spirit Quest. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, of course. There's another magical being here. You're magical. What can you tell me about spirit quests? I'm not magical, but I do know you need an elixir and a remote place to drink it. Tell me about this elixir. Just mix the hardest hitting stuff you can find and you're good to go. But be careful, it's strong stuff. I will be. Thanks, not Santa. <laughs> Season's greetings, whatever they may be. Okay, so... Do we mix the energy drink? Uh, oh. What? What I will do to have a kitchen like this at home? <laughs> Big kitchen can be good. But uh, they will come to a moment when it's just too big. Yeah. Let's see, what could be the strongest other thing? Uh, cheesy puffs? No. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay, luckily not, apparently. Hmm. Not that strong, apparently. Hmm. I don't think it's strong and more of just not good. Let's see. Nothing new from Seamus, okay. Thought I misread his name there for a second. Hmm. Of out of date stuff. See, Dooley's so protein supply. Oh, yo, oh, there we go. I'm so happy you finally wants to buy, uh, want to buy bulk up. <laughs> okay. I think we missed things to read here, incidentally. <laughs> Let's see, the amount of fizzing and hissing that ca uh, <laughs> costs uh, does not get me excited to drink this later on. Well, tough luck, Francis. <laughs> You are going to hate this, but probably less so than uh, the other Francis, as well known. Uh, it looks fancy? <laughs> well, goodbye normal blood pressure. What the hell? Where did that come from? What do you mean? That's been there all along! No, it... Wait, is this how you see the world all the time? <laughs> Finally, you're here. We thought you weren't going to make it in time. Uh, hello, Dixit? In time? Yes, you're scheduled for uh, in for 15 minutes ago. You're lucky we had a cancellation or we might not have been able to fit you in tonight. Sounds like you run a pretty tight ship. No, we have to. The desert is littered with people trying to find themselves these days. If you ask me, I think unchecked capitalism has left it in a place where people's identity is based on what value they provide, but advancing technologies, uh, technologies leave many of them with, uh, with nothing to offer. Anyway, shall we get started? Uh, guess we're going to the Honest Pyramid in the middle of the desert. There's nothing I want to do more. Wait, how do we get back from here? We don't, I guess. Uh, I should have asked Wolf more. Welcome, travelers. The answers you seek lie within. Answers? All right, let's try that again, eh? Welcome, travelers. The questions you seek lie within. Then also within are the answers that you will seek as a follow-up up to uh, the aforementioned questions. This is all very confusing. Well, it's a spirit quest. If we just told you what was happening, it'd be more of a 
more of a spirit consolation, really. Anyway, tread carefully, brave journeyman. Who lit these? More importantly, who lit them? But th that's what I asked. I know, I just wanted to say something and I panicked. <laughs> In we go, I guess. The ancient ritual of entering ominous doorways when we both know better. <laughs> No, uh, oh, hello, Asher. God, it, no. <laughs> what is this place? Uh, Something I would panic inside. Hmm? Weren't we just here? Uh, I don't like this. This must have been a sheep scene to make. <laughs> Do we leave here now? Then they will tell tales of us, the temple police, wandering the halls, stoling a punishment to any who angers the many doored god. <laughs> okay, finally! Look at this place, a temple to the body, I'm with my people. Duly, they're wolves. Shut it, two legs, I'm a wolf now. But they're all called blood wolves, they're camping. Yeah. You want to stay clear of that, brother. The balance is off. The colorblind bison messed it up and ran away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm burning so much energy I can smell my fur singed. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me? <laughs> Less talking, more pumping. Woo! Who are you? Did you accidentally make a mic crack? <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's see, I'm the baddest, maddest, and raddest wolf in the desert. Rocking Rig Rover, they call me, but you can call me Rocking Rig Rover. Just like everyone else. <laughs> we'll just call you Rick. Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Only thing rather than pumping iron is looking cool while pumping iron. Woo. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where else would I be? The motel? Lame. The diner? Lame. The attraction? Lame. If Rick can't pump it, then it's a dump. Oh, sorry. Oh, woo. <laughs> it's very late, a smooth face. Oh, woo. <laughs> okay, I was getting close to sounding like ooh, -oo there. <laughs> Brother, you can do it. Crush that iron. Uh, hi. Hey there, uh, brother. You here at the bench? I guess I am. That's a shame, brother. The bench is bust. I missed that bench, brother. Who are you? I'm Randy, brother. I'm stronger than any hound around. Want to arm wrestle? Um, no. Thanks, though. That's cause you know I will win, brother. No shaming admitting it. I'm the better wolf. In fairness, you're a better wolf than I am. Yeah, brother. <laughs> where is this place? This here is the desert gym, brother. Where wolves, coyotes, and bison uh, come to work out and unwind. But the rest of those freeloaders haven't come back since Argus broke the lifting bench. Broke it? Yeah, brother. He put the blue weights on the red side and the reds on the blue. It balances out of whack. Really? Just flip the fucking thing around. Want me to see if I can fix it for you? Hell yeah, brother. I tried, but I'm a wolf. No opposable thumbs. Uh, but how the heck are you holding that? Yeah. Plus, we're too busy shredding these weights. Woo! Okay, I'll see what I can do. Boo! They're too lazy. What are you doing here? Working out, working on these fuzzy pistons. Do you do anything else? Whether if this world offers something other than working on oneself, I do not want to know. So you're on, brother. Uh, also, Randy, isn't that the, the name of a wrestler or something? Who also goes on with brother all the time, or went on with brother all the time. I think most of those old school wrestlers are dead now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can get this bench working for the, you know, these guys. Oh wait, I know what's going on. They are stereotypical people sold the gymnastics lesson uh, videos and such, and also as well commercial for gyms. Yeah. Uh, stretch. <clears throat> I need to move the weights across to the other side. They're heavy, so I can only move them one step at a time. 
I can't move them backwards, but I can start again if I need to. Okay. Mm. This should be easy. Uh, you say that? Yeah, I was what the heck are you doing? Now that, that, uh, no. There we go. Now that, then one red. Okay, there you hmm. go. Blue, then one red, repeat the blue. But not that. That, that. Then move that, then move the blue. Then move that red. If you're pointing, I can't see that, you know? I'm seeing you where I see the arrow. <laughs> I would not be surprised if I was pointing, but I've been moving my hands a lot in the past. Okay, I'm not really seeing how you could solve this. At least I can think it's all, trying to alternate them or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to say it's just to alternate them. Yeah, but they can't jump that far. So move that blue one there. So, okay, move that. Then the yeah, red And then you get stuck already. Yeah, I'm just going to look up the solution to this because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I might be able to solve this easier, but uh, since I can't point for you to see, it gets a bit harder. Okay, there's nothing here about how to solve this stupid one. Maybe guess you, you need a YouTube video for that. <laughs> what the heck is happening with your model? Yeah, I'm trying to look down at the phone for how to solve this one. Okay, the new search them. Let's see. Dark side detective. Weights. There. Weight puzzle. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Of course, there's a fucking ad. Skip the bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay, why are they going slow with this? Of course, they speed up halfway through. Uh, let's see. They're reading off something as they're doing this. Uh... This one jumps over. This one forwards. And the only thing that can be done now is there, there, and there. Yeah. This was what I was trying to tell you to do. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we need to bunny hop was, them, basically. I was trying you to tell you this. I was unsure how without... Says, again, I can't, you can't see me point. 
Yeah. And done. The bench is fixed, guys. Great work, brother. I knew uh, if you put your mind to it, you'd get there in the end. Great, I'm uh, still not entirely sure why I'm actually here. Oh, I forgot. Brother, we're meant to show you the next part of the journey. No oh, whoops! Alright, brother, hold on tight. Detective, I don't feel so good. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's... It, I'm pretty sure that uh, McQueen is just knocked out on the desert floor. And a low space odyssey. Yep. That's extra dimensional. Hmm? What? What just happened? Did you see all that, Dooley? <laughs> what? The you wolves and the space baby stuff? So it did happen? Uh, of course, we literally just did it. And you're not weirded out by all that? Why should... Why would I be? Seems like a perfectly noble smoke and mirror secret that were to be. Right, so now what, what do we do? I think the adverse pretty clear. If you want to help the Yidi get home, we need to sound that love with the special space stamps. Where will I find stamps like that out here in the desert? Wait, what's this in my pocket? Cosmic stamps. Where? How did they get there? Might be, the, might be best to not think about that too much. That's how yeah. I get through these cases. Uh, if someone's calling me over Gmail, it seems. Give me a moment. Okay, whatever the fuck that was... Yeah. Uh... The, the, that got some fishy. It's also something yeah. you should not reply to. Yeah, definitely. Like, there was someone on WhatsApp trying to contact me, but the only people I have on WhatsApp are, well, also Dutch, and they were in, in English, so... Uh, yeah, hard nope. Block them and report it. Just, yes. <clears throat> just do a scan later, just in case. Probably. Let's see. <laughs> Did you read this already, or...? Yeah, I can read it again if you want. Okay. Might be best to not think about that too much. That's how I get through these cases. Yeah, agreed. But what are they for? Why don't you pay attention? With these, we can get this. He is posted home once he's wish free. Is that what that all meant? Right. Well, let's just go stamp the genie lamp, I guess. Ha! Ah, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Know it, Dooley. Know it. Know what? Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> this may uh... explain a lot. <laughs> Yeah, about how uh, Dooley just gets through stuff. Somehow he has... He is either so stupid that he sees into other realities, or he's so smart it looped around into being stupid. I think it's more of uh, the powder thing he does when he works out. For he's, He has been saying a lot that he wants to work out. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Putting the stamp on the lamp? Yeah, but you're using the blue ones. You need to use the red ones. The red ones clear the post amount of requirement. 
Was it? Okay, is that better? Much. Super. Now let's go waste some wishes. It's stamped and ready to go. Now for phase two, getting the genie back into it. We need to get Otto to waste his wishes on harmless stuff. Let's go. Let, let's get to it. Okay, so we need to mess up his heating, get ants on him somehow. Very much doubts. Hmm. We'll probably need something more, something sweet to get the ants. Let's see. Can we chat with him again? Oh, hello. Looks like Otto dropped something. Golden tickets. Hello. Otto's golden tickets. So okay. the... Is this a real thing? Apparently, yeah. What's this? Oh, you think you're a big shot now? Well, if you has a golden ticket, you is. In you go, your majesties. This is exciting. <laughs> God damn it, Norman! As a kid, I used to love these giant bubble machines. The right mix of de detergent and kitchen supplies always covered the place up with suns. Now my sister makes me use a laundromat. <laughs> Meaning he's been doing it still. Let's see. Wailing whites. Leave your sheets white enough for even the pickiest haunting. If I had to wash anything, then this will not feel like a holiday. <laughs> well, I guess we're trapped in a case now. The laundry basket. I guess if I don't use it, I can hang my coat up in the room. Either way, it'll get used. Wait, wait, let, let me get this right. The gold ticket is just a... over-glorified, probably scam way to get more money for people who wanted to do laundry. <laughs> Apparently. Norvin is an arse. Yeah. Hey, I hit my dirty clothes in the dark too. Let's see, any oh, tumble dryer. How come these things always seem to eat one sock? I'm not sure. That may be a case for a quiet week. Never happened to me once. I have heard it happened only in one place, and there was a school on the school dorms or the dorms. But it was apparently famous in the water washing machines always steal. The sock, but people always cl claim it on some blame as some a yokeful creature. Okay. This was meant as a joke. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Again? I guess this is a lot like relaxing at the museum slash poolside. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, so we have laundry, we have detergent, we have a coat hanger. Basket of holding laundry. Cats like sitting in them too. <laughs> True. <laughs> now, how are we going to mess with Otto with this? Can we go in? It's They're inside watching TV. I can get him to waste a wish if he's hungry, but there's no kitchen to feed him. Hey, are you in there? Yes, my friend. Uh, I'm taking an early night so as to get up and win the best late gifts in the morning. Good to knock. I need to get him to burn some wishes. But how do I get him to waste them when he's locked in there? Why well, don't we figure out a plan over some food at the diner? Dooley, you genius. The answer is food. Yes, wait. The way you say that makes me think we are not going for pie. No, we're going to need to make him hungry and make sure there's nowhere to order food from. Boom, wish gone. Let uh, me uh, say this. Hinami has called Drury a dumb a lot, but he's not, he's not too dumb. He's actually surprisingly smart. Just, well, Accidentally. He may, understand, he may <laughs> understand uh, a few things about from his uh, protein powder making him see the view world of quite differently. Yeah, let's see. Can we act? Let's see. Probably shouldn't break and enter this room, not while it's occupied anyway. 
It does mean that we can probably break and enter into this one. Yeah, they're fragile and I don't want to break them. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Season's greetings or whatever they may be. Okay, we're going to need to shut down the diner then. And well, one way to shut down a oh, diner. No. Keys puffs into the vent. Let's see, it's. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I have to? Yes. Yes, you have to. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this should make one cartoonishly crude trap. <laughs> Rat trap. <laughs> the little guy has some tasty cheese bits for you. Hand them over, then. Not you, Dooley. Dooley, they're for the rats. Yeah, how do I <laughs> I dress like a rat. Rat. A rat. No and No and don't I ask. Well. Good, don't. But. No. We could call him Magnum Squeak One. Squeaky. Dooley. A misspelling. We're not deputizing a rat. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get this guy in there and shut this place down. Wait, we can't. What? Wait, can't we do a police thing to close it? Too late. What's this? A little red friends? Well, ho 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 ho, little guy. Oh, wait, you shouldn't be here. Hey, Sue, what do we do if there's a rat in the kitchen again? A rat? Damn it, sugar. I told you before, every time you see a rat, we gotta shut up shop for the day. Oh, okay, I guess we're clocking off early then. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's the diner done. I hope this closure doesn't cost you much. Ah, uh, you're a goody for worrying. But I'm a millionaire, I only do this for funsies. <laughs> okay, also, what... What did it spell out there when the lights flickered out here? Boy meets girl? Yeah, no. Bum, bum till? Let's see what. Come on. Bum trill. Okay, if there's a joke in there, I'm not getting it. I should really get the elves to fix that vent. Um, I mean, I should fix it myself. Repeat line. Oh. Let's see, we can still go in here. I think he... yeah, he left these burgers on. I'll make sure the city gives you a commendation for your work here. Squeak. Of course you, you can bring your family to the ceremony. <laughs> We'd be thrilled to meet them. Uh, yeah, might as well grab this while nobody is looking. Wait, we could have read more there. Yeah, the, the, the rest was repeat there, I'm pretty sure. Nope. No, I just need a stack of pancakes. <laughs> might as well grab this while nobody's looking. We're just robbing the place. Yep. Jam and jello. Okay, we're not getting that. And we're not checking it for clues, apparently. Okay. Do we need to ruin these? I don't think they can use it for the rest of the day, so... But people can't order... F he can't order food from there now. If he gets yeah. hungry. Oh. Nice night for waiting around in case I'm needed in another puzzle later, wouldn't you say? I mean, Doris Day? I forget, I got too tired. Let's see. Um. See, food always makes me hungry. Well, that's only sort of true. I'm just always hungry. Well, uh, it, here's the thing. People who work out a lot, eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I met <clears throat> a, uh, one of my old friends. They work out a bloody hecky. You should come out into the drum dining hall with three plates. You think he, uh, th 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 your line? Uh, th th my bad. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
Do you think he didn't mind me finishing that off? Let's see, we need to get our hands on some food to show him. Still? Hmm? Really? What? Putting what? jam on a burger? Really? It, yeah, it, it's syrup. But we, we need worse. to make sure that there's no food to get. Let's see, and that's the timer. Hmm. Jam and syrup on a burger. Uh, I, I'm okay with experiments, sir, but... Uh, the, the, Syrup on a burger, really? That, that That's a little bit far. Uh, let's see. We're, I think we're close to finishing this. Or somewhat close-ish. But yeah, let's leave. We'll finish this next time then. It'll probably be a very short stream, but that's why we have backup games for this. <clears throat> yep. So yeah, let's do a save. And yeah. Actually, not there yet. We're going to the main menu. And yeah, eight out of nine solved. Next one, you know, next stream, this will, yeah, we will finish this game. And uh, yes, yeah, should we move on to the sequel or, yeah, I, th I think we should leave the sequel for uh, another October, maybe, or just another time in general. Yeah, in all the time, but I can see us return to it in the, in the next October. But we can we can hold on for it for now, for we do have other games we also want to show. Yeah. However, okay. if we do see it for next October, we need to well remember make sure there's a note about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go look on Twitch for who to raid. So let me change the screen share over. Change window, switch, live, and let's see. We have Rafi Raccoon, who is playing Rocksmith's 2014 edition remastered. Okay. Redacted Cat is playing a medieval. Sour Wolves is playing the House of the Dead remake. Okay, I didn't know they remade that. Uh, Grim the Wolf is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Super Mario 64. And again, this fucking ad... And K9 is playing Lords of the Fallen. Okay. Yeah, I feel um, like there's several games called Lords of the Fallen or a very similar name. This is a bit bad when uh, you have problems keeping track of different games with almost literally the same title. Yeah. Okay. Shall we raid Sour Walrus? Well, let's. Um, Wait, you did know this there was a remake of this? This is an old remake. Okay. <laughs> then I know now. Okay. Yeah, let's head up to our place then after copying the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Marco, and thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And let's see, I'm not seeing any lurkers, so oh well. And uh, yeah, if we're lucky, we'll have another stream today. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Unlikely LA Noir, since Rom said he'd be busy with something. I'll still ask him to be sure, yeah, but it's likely we'll sure. finish the Count Lucanor instead. And I did a little bit of digging on that, spoiler free mostly, but it... It did say that there are five endings of that game. I say we go until we get one ending and then look up what the other ones are because I don't want to spend too long on that game since it is relatively small, but I don't want to be redoing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I agree. Like, my new time thing is fine, but here's the thing. We don't know how he put it, that tip he gave us is. For yeah. the, if the coin supposed to go back that far each time to try and get the good ending, uh, then those two hours ish, we became a lot of issue. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, We're, if we finish it, we have plenty of backups that I have re set up ready. Two of them won't be able to use the display capture because they don't like being forced into a window, apparently. Uh, those being both dead bolts and dead lights. 
But yeah, if we finish the game or get an ending at least, we'll uh, we'll see which game we'll follow up with. Yeah. For now, let's start that raid and yeah, no block. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching and have a nice day. And well, until the next, <laughs> until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs>